suggest we start. Okay. Okay. So hello everyone. Welcome to the first Field of Classroom. Today we have a special topic for you, and it will be presented by our CEO, Mr. Clement Hosta. Mr. Hosta will speak about one of the biggest problems in the world of football, which is football scams. Please uh, keep your microphones on mute, cameras off, and write questions in the chat. And now I leave the word, the word to Clement. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for participating in this Zoom. Um, I will talk about one of the biggest barriers in football, uh, which is football scams. Hopefully none of you were actually a victim of it. Uh, and this is the lesson so that you will never be. Okay, the, the topic I still present is these football scams and how to avoid it, okay? Um, football scams, basically, sorry. It starts with this, okay? Suddenly you get an email, you're playing in Hungarian for the division or lower or whatever, and you get a letter from Manchester United inviting you on a trial. This is actually a true case. It's just a matter of insurance fee. Yes, it sounds good, but realistically, how is this possible? And that's that's a typical scam, I would say. The reasons why people are getting players are getting scammed are basically three. One is desperation. Everybody is trying to get to a better club, to a better position, to a better contract. Normally, you just want to be seen, you, you want to get an agent, and you have a, you know this desire to, to play at maximum level. Uh, so these scammers and fraudsters are basically playing on, on this desperation of yours that you'll do anything possible to get, a, to get to a better place, to a better club. Second reason is ignorance. Ignorance, I don't mean with a bad connotation, but basically we see it at Fielder that uh, a lot of players don't know how the recruitment process actually works, how the, how, how the transfer market works. Um, they don't know the rule for specific countries, they don't know the, the recruitment procedures, and that's, that's a big pain as well because, again, fraudsters are using this, uh, this ignorance and lack of knowledge to against you to scam you for whatever amount of money and the third one is okay let's call it rare but we heard we heard uh, numerous okay numerous occasions that it happened and it's great when people are well settled in a club uh, they get you know they get a promise of a better paycheck of a, again of a better salary they move or they, they move they go to, to another trial in another country, another continent, and they just get scammed, um, which is, so of course, a problem. But um, basically, we have three types of scammers. First are email fraudsters. This is the old way of how they, they scam players. Then we have fake agents, and then we have fake trials. This is at least how I would specify it in the easiest way. Um, starting with uh, email fraudsters, these guys, they will basically send you an email of promising a trial, a contract of the club, doesn't matter. You get an email that looks official, um, but of course it has some sort of a catch, which is here, it's an example um, of a scammer's email, and don't read it because it really doesn't matter. What's important is the red line, which they say they will take they will cover all of the expenses, but it's just a matter of an insurance fee that you have to pay, which is in, in the, this occasion is 500 British pound. And that was, you know, a typical amount. Like a couple of years ago, if somebody sends you a letter with 500 uh, British pounds, there's like, you could toss it immediately in the spam box or whatever, because it was fake. Um, how to identify email spammers? That's relatively easy, okay? First of all, it's fake contact, okay? No club will actually send you send you an email from, from Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo. They have their own domains. If the club is official and it's, I would say set up in the correct way, you never see, you, you never get an email from FC Barcelona at gmail.com. They have at fcbarcelona.com. So that's the easiest way, I mean, to check the to check the email that you received it from. Um, that's that's point number one. If you have doubts, the easiest way is as well to respond or 
find find on, on Google, you find the contact of the club, you call to the club, you, you write the um, info page just just to be on the safe side. Now here's our here are two basic things that you will find in, in, in the scammer, uh, scammers lab. One thing is club processing. Okay. Probably they will say yes, we offer you a trial, but we have a processing fee and you need to cover that. No club is doing that, okay? If they are inviting you, if a club officially invites you on a trial, okay, most of the clubs will actually uh, ask you to cover your own accommodation costs and, all, uh, and food and everything, but that is not processing fee, okay? Club will never, if they invite you, you come there for free on your own cost, but you come there for free because they are trying to invite and assess you if you will join their club. So processing fee doesn't exist. Secondly, um, visa, visa processing fee. Again, something that the scammer will ask you, but here's, here's a, you know, even easier to spot it because you have to apply for a visa in your own country. So how the hell does the guy charge visa processing fee if you're doing everything, okay? The third one is probably a sign-on fee or salary that, uh, that already in the scam, uh, scammer's letter they are talking about the salary, which is, you know, just, this is just uh, incompetent nonsense because why the hell if you even didn't even pass the trial, they're mentioning a salary. Yeah? This is a typical desperation, uh, I would say, uh, catch that you do in that sense. So um, if you see, if you get a letter, if you, I would say, examine it, be, be sure that you that you are careful about the, the things that I just mentioned. So first of all, check the emails. Uh, if nothing ticks, uh, if nothing ticks in a letter, what I mentioned from the processing fee, from the salary fee, from the visa processing fee, then always double check and send an email to the club directly just to be sure. And the safest way is just to delete an email. Um, then, you know, I would call them sophisticated. Uh, so email scammers version 2.0 are fake agents, okay? This is, especially now in COVID times, this is uh, the biggest issue in, in football um, because these guys are more sophisticated, okay? They use WhatsApp, they use LinkedIn, they create fake profiles on Twitter, they have pages. They are obviously contacting you through, through um, emails. But again, you need to you need to see and you need to learn how to recognize them. First of all, it's always a money demand. Okay, these guys are contacting you to scam you out of money. Okay, they want some money out of you. So there will always be maybe not in the first WhatsApp message or in the second, but when you when you will settle everything, they will have a money demand. Five hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. We heard stories, we and we 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 dealt with clients uh, that wrote to us that got scammed from one hundred dollars, which is okay, fine. It's a lot of money and nothing, but uh, I can tell you officially the the record holder that was scammed out of two hundred thousand uh, dollars. Then typically these guys uh, they don't have you will not have a personal contact with them. Okay, it's going uh, it's going to, through WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Viber whatever sort of social networks, but you will never be face to face with them. That's a problem. Yes, definitely, you should be careful about it. They will use social media messages, again, um, again, Facebook, uh, Instagram, everything possible, uh, they'll try to contact you. Letters that will look official, later I will show you a couple of examples of um, fake letters. Official from the clubs, they will always say that they have offers from top clubs. So again, coming back to my first slide, you are player in third, fourth division in Slovenia, Croatia, Switzerland, and suddenly you get a letter from Manchester United, from Premier Division club, from Spanish club, doesn't matter. Okay, there is no logic to it. And typically on their social profiles, even when you will do the, the, the background check, They'll have selfies with stars. They are important people. Okay. Now, that will, this will be topic for for uh, another classroom later on. But you will see uh, when we will try to present how the recruitment process works uh, present them uh, agent jobs. Serious agents are obviously the big, the top guns that have clients like uh, Ibrahimovic or whatever. The top 
50 agents of the world, they will never come to you. Not that I'm saying you, you, you guys are bad or anything, but you're at the start of your career. Hopefully someday you have a manager like that, an agent, but no way that these guys that are dealing with stars are suddenly looking on, on, on Facebook for, for another player. Unfortunately, it works like that. And you have to have a little bit of common sense when you, when, when you spot, when you get an offer like this, to, to first of all, double check it and especially to be extra careful uh, with it, okay? Uh, these are, for example, this is a typical uh, fake letter. It's from Hull City Club. It was playing Premier League right? and uh, second division championship. Um, it's signed by Steve Bruce, which uh, even if you don't know it, he was a coach. It doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, it's easy to forge such a such a letter, and uh, there are multiple examples. For me, this is you know one of the most stupid letters that's circling out there. Um, but okay, here you have another example of I would say um, an agency letter inviting you for a trial, which is also oh, um, it's also. Clearly, just looking at it, you can see that at the bottom, at the footer, you have FIFA logo, you have Adidas logo, Nike logo. I mean, just Nike and Adidas on the same page is stupid, you know? It breaches all the marketing uh, contracts. So, but I get it. Look, uh, people, are, people are, you know, again, desperate. They're trying to, when they see something like that, they, 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 they are on fire, they, they want to do everything to, to make it. So even if you look at the letter a little bit carefully, they're talking about Genoa, Bari, Asset, Milan, King. So all the top clubs in, in Europe. So again, you are in, in United States, in Pennsylvania, and suddenly you get a letter and you're invited to all the top clubs in Europe, even though nobody's voted from, uh, you from except local coaches, original coaches and the combined, it doesn't make sense. Um, now, the third point we were talking about, one is uh, email fraudsters, that the fake agents are so-called fake trials, okay? Fake trials is, is a special category, okay? It's, um, uh, first of all, I have to say that bad trials are not fake trials, okay? You can go to a trial, you pay for a service, which is normal, okay? Trials are payable, uh, you go and you get a service, but it's, but it's just bad. Okay, it's a bad pitch, or there's no agents, or uh, you're not, you know, connected to a club. That's a bad service. It's not, uh, it's not, a, it's not a fake trial. Fake trial is that where there is no service, where people are actually taking your money. You pay I don't know a thousand dollars that he will take you to Europe on a trial in France, and says, okay, um, come meet me at the airport in Paris, and he doesn't show up. And that's a common practice as well, okay? They do it with whole teams, okay? The, the extra horrific version of this is when they take young, youngsters from Africa, take them to Europe, take their passports and just leave them stranded in Europe as immigrants. This is, and it, they don't do that, uh, that just with African kids, they do that with South American kids. I heard about uh, Argentines being stuck in Mongolia, uh, I mean, internet uh, is all over. I mean, there's news all over the internet about this. You can read it, just Google it a little bit. It's, it's something that uh, hopefully it will never happen to any one of you. Um, but again, fake trials as well occur. You have to be careful here to, to examine everything that you can on the web. Uh, the, best way, the best way is if you are contacting a, a company that does trials, that they give you a result, they, they show you the photo, they show you the YouTube clips of where they were playing, with whom they were playing. Uh, you can find out all about this before even paying for the service, okay? You need to be sure what you're paying for. That's the most important thing uh, that you have to be careful about. So one of the things that I would like to, to specifically tell you is how to deal with agents. And again, I'm not talking about the top agents, but the agents uh, out there, that local agents, regional agents. Uh, first of all, I would like to especially um, let you know, emphasize about that. If you come from Nigeria, okay, don't look for an agent in Europe. Okay, this is very difficult. Look for an honest local agent. 
or a regional agent that, that deals in Nigeria and the surrounding countries. Same thing for the guys in the in, in US. Uh, look for an agent or a scout or an intermediary that works in your area. Connect with him and then the most important thing is that these guys have connection to, to Europe, for example, if you're targeting Europe, which most of you are. So first of all, what you can do is check if the guy poses, presents himself as an official agent, if he's registered with a national FA. All FAs in the, in the world have uh, basically an open, um, open database on their page which agents actually are registered with them. You have an English FA, a French FA, a Nigerian FA, everywhere. Okay, so for my, my thing would be, if somebody contacts me, first I will check with, with the, with the F, uh, national FA. Okay, second question is here, it's very important, where did you get the contact? Okay, if somebody recommends it to you, if that's a hot lead, if uh, you have to have a trustworthy source. If that comes from a very good friend of yours that you trust, fine. You still need to do the check. But if it comes out of a blue, again, from a, from an email or from a WhatsApp message, then you have to be extra suspicious. How did this guy get your number, get your contact, and why did he contact you if you never saw, uh, if you never seen him in, in your life? He never saw your game. You never seen him. It sounds fishy, you know, immediately. Definitely never pay to an agent before signing a contract with a club. Okay? If, if he promises a trial, if he promises a club, you never to an agent, you never pay upfront. He's making money from you. Okay? They get money from a club if the, if, if the deal is if, if the deal is struck. Why should you pay him? That's my question. Okay. So yes, when the deal is done, you can arrange the guy gets such and such a commission, but be extra careful again. Don't put any money up front. Again, here we have to separate two things. One thing is if you're paying for a service, okay? If you're paying for a service to a company uh, that organizes clubs, combines um, camps, that's, that's, I mean, this you have to pay up front. It's like when you're buying a car, first you have to pay them for the car. Then you can drive with, the, with your new car. Here is the same thing, you have to pay in order to get to a trial, in order to get to a camp. But that's that's different. Company, you can check. You can go to their LinkedIn profile, you can go to the Facebook, Facebook, you can Google them, everything. Agent is, is a single person, you know. Um, if you have an option, check it out, uh, check out everything with your lawyer. Seek a legal advice, okay? That's important. And especially, again, we're coming back, if, an agent says, I'm taking you to a specific club, you can always double check. You can always write to, the, uh, to a club, you can call um, a contact of the club. If they know that you're coming, if they are actually holding an open trials, I mean, this is important. I can tell you honestly that clubs like Borussia Dortmund or Roma or Manchester City, these clubs are not, uh, they're not having open trials for people from all over the world. Okay, something is academy, their 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 network of scouts, but no, you cannot just you know come and do the training, uh, do the training with the B team of Borussia No, that doesn't exist. Football is changing. This is important. You need to know. You, you need to know this. For you, football is a game and a way of life for some. Okay, but primarily for for everybody else involved through the clothing companies to to agencies to to clubs football is a business they need to have they need to make money players are nest okay means to net player wins it's it's again it's like a stock okay you invest in a player uh, pump up the price you sell the stock okay this is how it is this is how it, uh, how it work, how it works you bring them money in the end okay now because, like I mentioned, football become, became a huge business, uh, a new way of, of, of um, so-called, I would say, recruitment uh, came to play. It's called pay to play. It's done everywhere, uh, every, everywhere around Europe. Uh, certain clubs, they offer, uh, you can pay to enter the academy. They put you in the B or C team. They train you. You will build friendly matches. 
it's a way of recruitment and you will have a clear pathway actually to the IT. okay this is first of all I, I need to say this is a legit business okay pay to play is an option it's done from russia to germany to italy to romania clubs it's a new way of um, revenue stream for the clubs and at the same time they're recruiting players most of the players obviously from the world they don't have an option to pay 1500 1000 euros to, to get into a european club pay for their accommodation and, uh, and food and you know again pay to play um but this is this is a viable option again i would say this is clear you need to be careful if you decide for something like that that you you straighten up your facts which are clubs are the best that offer that that you'll actually get the service that you're paying again we're coming back you need to double check everything now again recruitment and transfer rules are changing all the time okay five years ago we had official fifa license stages today they're just intermediaries they pay 500 euros or uh, different amounts in their uh, FA and you're an agent, you're an intermediary, you can do football transfers from top level to the bottom. Okay. Um, then a recruitment, the recruitment and transfer rules. I mean by that you, know, you need to know when, when a kid can sign a professional contract with this is age 16, 18, different in different countries. Um, then it's uh, it's I mean it's really difficult, and this is this is what I said. We are coming back to the first slide. This is ignorance. This is this is where you lack uh, lack the knowledge of uh, recruitment process. This is where you need to you need to be specific and again do the research, learn a little bit uh, about if the if the agent or a, or a scout says okay I have a trial for you in, in Spain. Do learn, do do investigate, do Google how how um, what are the rules of uh, transferring to that club in a specific country. And again, this is just a warning. There is no free lunch and it's the same thing in football. Uh, nobody will give you anything for free. Even if you're a super talent, you know, eventually you, you will pay your debts. So I don't want to be uh, gloom or dark here, but I'm saying, I'm just saying, be careful. Football is a business. People are making money. At the same time, I have to emphasize a little bit that as well, you have to, as a player, you have to invest. I know that you have to invest money in your career money makes money um and for, from our end especially from my end as a ceo of field where we as well have a business that we charge to players like 25 euros for the whole year um you know at the same time here i'm telling you scammers be careful as this you need to know what you're paying for okay like you're paying for your football boots and you you, you pay i don't know from 30 to 300 dollars uh, um, you need to know where you're putting in the money. But believe me, to make it in football, you will have to spend some money. Um, what now, the most important side for me, what do I need to do to avoid scammers? What do I need to, to be careful? First of all, today, in today's world, you can check everything, okay? You can find every person in the world, uh, some data about him, if you cannot find it, then something's wrong, okay? So point number one, do your homework online. You all have computers, you all have mobile phones, uh, go to Google, Google everything and everybody, okay? Google the, the person that sends you the email, Google the person that contacts you on WhatsApp, uh, check their LinkedIn, check if they have any footage on YouTube, if they're promising a trial, uh, check on Facebook, Instagram, be careful, they're sophisticated, they, they build their, uh, their, their profiles. If possible, always go, go the long distance, uh, ask if they have any recommendations. Um, so, you know, really be careful about it. Do not pay any money up front until you are 100% sure. I can tell you from my personal experience that we do that at Field especially because as well we have problems because of scammers. Uh, we like we like uh, we like to talk with the guys that are trying to buy career development uh, or they're paying for activation. We, we we like to put them on the phone or video call on Zoom, just to speak with them. So they, they see that we are real. For us, in instance, if if somebody asks uh, what, what is field is field real, 
I say go to YouTube, you'll see the games that we played on different trials. Uh, check our Instagram. We are on LinkedIn, Google us. I mean, there's their system. So there is no excuse. I mean, in the end, if you lose the money, if somebody scams you, pardon my friendship, but it's because of your stupidity or basically you're being lazy because you didn't do, you didn't check it out. Um, now, if you have any questions or doubts or about the transfer or trial or an agent, we're here for you. We help in, in cases like that. So really, uh, I invite everybody to register on Fieldo and definitely to, uh, preventing scams is one of our missions. Now, before we come to the questions, I just want to finish with one thing. What can you do if you were scammed already? Okay? Realistically, nothing. Okay, we've uh, done cases when we contacted Interpol, local police in different countries from Nigeria, basically to England. There's nothing to be done. You lost that money. The best way is to, to just forget it. If you want to uh, basically follow up, you'll probably lose more money for legal services than, than before. So especially if the money went to money Graham or Western Union, this is a lost case. Um, so Dylan, do we have any questions on the line? We do not have any questions. Okay. So basically I would like to thank uh, Mr. Hosta for uh, his time. Hope our viewers enjoyed the presentation. This was uh, the first uh, Field of Classroom session with many more planned in the future. If you missed the live video, we will publish uh, the full session on our YouTube channel so that you can check it out later and also share it with your friends. So that will be all for today. Uh, if you have any more questions, you, are always, you can always contact us and have a great day and bye bye. Goodbye, thank you. Good